Okay, so now we'll move on to something that I think will interest plenty and probably make some others mad. Um, what I've got is the newest rifle in my um, collection. This is a, a CMMG um, MK4. Online it used to be listed as the M4LE. Um, that designation has now changed and is now belongs to a rifle that is a piston operated system. This is a complete gas operated system. Um, very, very similar to the, the standard military M4. <clears throat> now, you'll note that there's not a lot of furniture, there's not a lot of hardware. It's a very, very simple weapon right now. Um, I will tell you that I added the front rails. Um, I'm actually pretty surprised with them. They were purchased online, um, sight unseen, for a very, very, very small sum of money. I think I gave $35 or $40 for them. They um, hook into the the delta ring and go over the original clamp in the front um, that the hand guards would normally written nest in and then they've got four set screws that tighten them down and clamp it in place. Um, the rifle has a low pro profile front gas block. I've got a riser ordered for that so I can push this front sight post out some um, and I've put a set of command armed accessories uh, flip up front and rear sights on it command arms accessories, um, buttstock, and then uh, because I intend eventually to put a optic on it, I've got the adjustable cheek weld for the buttstock. Um, I have one gripe about this buttstock, and that is when completely closed, it is difficult. You cannot bring the charging handle all the way back. So, first and foremost, as with any firearm, the first thing that you do anytime you grab it, which I did before I got it out, is check and make sure it's safe nothing in the chamber. Um, I have been handling the AR-15 series of rifles off and on for uh, about 15 years now since I joined the military. Uh, be 15 years this summer. <clears throat> now, I, I am very, 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 very comfortable with this weapon in my hands. I can do just about anything with this weapon um, pretty much blindfolded. So, <clears throat> everything that I do will still conform to the safety rules that everyone should follow with a weapon system. The weapon is never pointed at anyone. It's never pointed at anyone that you don't, or anything that you don't intend to destroy. The weapon is uh, always treated as if it's loaded. I mean, there, it, it's an, you have to be inherently safe with this. That being said, you have to teach your kids to be safe with any weapon that they might pick up. So, anytime that I grab this weapon out of habit, <coughs> I will take it, I shoot left-handed, I will check, make sure that it's clear, and I always close the dust cover and physically make sure that the weapon's on safe. Um, today I went out and I've got some video that I'll show, I'll pin to this too, of, uh, of me firing it. I zeroed it at 25 meters, um, best I could, shooting off a bag, um, no bipod, with some very, very inexpensive ammunition. Um, got it to where I was pretty happy with it and then took some shots out at 100 meters um, and I got three out of five on a, very, on a pie plate, literally. Um, on a 12 inch circular target and I'll put a picture of this you can see some other impacts from where I, I actually took 10 shots at it um, on that 12 inch circle one, two, five, six, I think there's eight seven or eight out of ten are on that 12 inch circle at a hundred with a brand new rifle with flip up sights I'm not happy with that but I'm content um, as I get to spend some more time with this rifle shoot a little more tighten up some nuts and bolts, add some Loctite and things like that to things. Um, you know, put the front sight post where I really want it and extend that sight line. And I'm sure that that front sight post will be tighter and a little more stable than these hand guards are. Um, I'll be really happy with it then, I'm sure. Um, weapon, first time out of the box today, you'll see I had no fails to feed, no malfunctions, nothing like that. Um, very, very tight. Um, a lot of people will note that on some of the rifles you grab, you'll, you'll be able to grab the lower and upper receivers and have a lot of play in them very tight, very good quality. The finish, fit and finish is very good from CMMG. Um, it shoots 5.56 five, and 2.23. It's a one and nine twist, six inch barrel, plus the uh, the flash hider um, is a very, very useful tool to have in your toolbox. Um, lightweight, reaches out and touches things 300 meters if needed. Um, great defense weapon to have at home. Um, very simple to use, very, very light recoil, um, good stopping power, um, a lot of options and ammunition when they become available. Um, I will say that right now, because of recent events in the last uh, 
two and a half months. Um, finding anything that looks like this has become very difficult and very expensive. Um, I ordered mine um, coincidentally the same day as the, the attacking at Sandy Hook Elementary School. Um, I'm not going to talk any of the politics of that. I've posted on my blog how I feel about about how we deal with the violence today, um, but I will say that uh, I find it very important for me to be able to defend myself and defend my family, and this is a great tool for that. Um, quickly on the stock, um, it also has a battery panel. Um, you notice there's no outlandish furniture on the rifle now, it's because I don't need it, but I do have a tactical flashlight, I do have a forward hand grip, I do have, you know, slings, some other odds and ends that depending upon the situation where I might be using the rifle, could end up on it. Um, the sights I'm mostly happy with. Um, they adjust easily. They seem to hold fairly tight. They held their zero through the 60 or so rounds I shot today. Um, the only complaint that I have is on the rear sight. It does have a small and large aperture, which most people with military rifles are familiar with. Um, but when you flip that sight forward, and back, it actually turns on the same pivot screw that adjusts your windage. Um, there's a fix for that, and that is on the top of the sight, it's actually notched. So the large aperture is for low light and quick shooting, but if you just use the notch sight on top for low light, close quarters, look right across the front sight post, you can accomplish the same thing. So um, there's a, a way around it, even though that does throw the sights off when it spins on that pivot point, but if you just don't turn it, then you don't have that problem. So, um, CMMG M4LE, great weapon. Um, I'd recommend you check them out. They're a, a fairly new company out of Missouri. So, um, they made accessories for a long time, but now they're on to making full size fire or full blown firearms. So, get a look at them, check them out, see what you think, and uh, take a look at this video of me giving it, uh, putting it through its paces a little bit, um, a little bit of speed shooting, and some photos there at the end of the targets, and, and what I was able to do with it. Thanks again for watching. Um, feel free to post comments. Let me know if there's anything you want to see me do, anything you want me to talk about. And uh, most times I'll be able to get out there and do something for you. Thanks a lot.